with the announcement of the men's ministry last week and with me as the uh, leader, the coordinator of the, the men's ministry, I, uh, I've had uh, uh, a couple women after the service come up to me with hope in their eyes that there is now maybe uh, some way that they could get their husband to make that first step. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to have Bill and Martin and JP joining me, and we are going to learn all about the men's ministry that is sort of restarting up, I think, um, this year. There have been a few little things in the past couple of years, but we're going full force. I'm pretty sure into the next couple of months. Is yeah, that right? well, it's great to great to be here, Elizabeth, and uh, and represent uh, yeah the a new intentional focus of the men's ministry. We've been doing uh, beer and banter for the last few years, That's true. Uh, which is an informal social time for guys to get together to to chat. And um, and we've done the men's ministry, uh, men's retreat uh, for the last couple of years, um, but uh, but now we're we're trying to uh, be a little bit more focused and uh, to to kind of reach some uh, more intentional goals uh, around bringing men uh, into involved in the church and sending them out. So, All right. So that's Bill. Why did you want to get involved in this ministry? And I'm going to ask all of you the same question. Uh, well, I guess one answer that we all share is that we're all men, uh, uh, men of Trinity uh, involved in the church. Uh, I think um, I think over the years, the um, I have benefited a lot from the church. I've grown in in my faith. I have I have met with uh, older men uh, in in mentoring like relationships that have helped uh, uh, not just in my faith, but in my career choices. Uh, and uh, I think it's a little bit about uh, giving back and creating those kind of uh, experiences, opportunities uh, for uh, for younger men and for all, for all men of the church. That's awesome. And what about you, Martin? I agree with a lot of the things Bill said. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, uh, I recall when the men's ministry was um, more active mm -hmm. back in the late 90s and early aughts. Uh, I was unemployed for a while. And mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. men's ministry and some of the, you know, we had a men's prayer group, we had the breakfasts, we had other places. Lots of time for me to interface with some of the men and, and they helped me greatly in my uh, discipleship because I had a lot of time, more time for that than I did when I was working. And also in helping me in my career choices. Oh, wow. It Thanks was, for sharing. Very yeah. good. That's great to hear. Mm -hmm. And JP, you're a little bit newer to the church. So what <laughs> encouraged you to join the men's uh, ministry? Yeah, for me, um, prior to coming to Trinity, which was about a year and a half ago, um, just never had the opportunity um, to be part of a men's ministry. And uh, that all changed uh, <laughs> since coming to Trinity. Um, uh, just immersed myself in, in uh, a lot of different things, starting with the, uh, the men's retreat last spring, which was, uh, mm -hmm. which was great. Um, my sort of uh, view was just, uh, I was new here and just, dive right in and uh, just you know, made some uh, excellent friendships and uh, started the started building great relationships. And then that sort of, um, and then got involved with beer and banter mm -hmm. and attending those. And, and then um, uh, got invited uh, to join one of the uh, a men's uh, life group. And uh, I've just, uh, just it's all these things have just really impacted my, my life in such a positive way. And, um, it just made such a difference that, yeah, I want to, I, I, it's, it's important and I want to do what I can just to help uh, grow it and, um, and so that others can experience the same thing. That's exciting. And I know there's some fun things planned, but mm -hmm. before we get into too many nitty gritty details about the men's ministry, it wouldn't be a fun Trinity Talks without a fun Trinity Talks game. All right. So I'm going to pick my first victim. I mean, volunteer first here. <laughs> and um, I'm going to actually choose JP. You were just talking. So maybe what I'm going to have you do is just pick up that piece of paper that you have in front of you and show the camera and then show and it to your. I'm your, not looking at it. right? You're not looking at it, but. Is that right side yeah, up? Yeah, but the, so no, so there's the word up. No, flip, flip it. There flip you go. It. Keep. One yeah, there you go. Show this camera right here. All right, you've got a name of a famous man in the Bible. Can you guys see that there, Bill and Martin? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, All right. Yes. Now you're going to just give JP a single word and see if he can guess who that person is. And if he can't get it, then we're going to give him another word. All right. First. Sure, bull rushes. Oh, bull rushes. Yeah. It's a good one. Baby Moses. Moses suffices. Moses well done. All right. I wasn't actually well sure done, bull rushes is a single word or a hyphenated <laughs> word, but we're going to give it to you anyway. Well done. All right. You guys are great. All right, Martin, you're next. Okay. You might have to move your... Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Without looking. 
Now these weren't that challenging. Maybe they are. I don't know. We'll see. Single word. Apostle. John. Another word. All right. No, it's a good guess. Go ahead, Yuki. Blinded. Temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> on the road. Oh, Paul. Yes. Well done. All right. I think blinded temporarily on the road is all one hyphenated word as well, right? <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. Now it's my turn. It's your turn. No, I should have given you like the third son of. Oh, I know. I know. No. I should have said Saul. All right. This is me. This is you. Your turn. Without using any words in the. <laughs> <laughs> I think you understand what I'm saying here. We're going to use none of the words on the sign here. You ready? Uh, mm. Can I call a friend? Uh, uh, call a friend. You can call Mart. Locusts. Locusts. Oh. I'll I think it's a good word. I can I can actually hear the wheels turning in Bill's head right now. Yeah, locust. I, hmm. I was. Uh, um, Aaron. Mm. Mm. It's a good, nope. guess, good guess, perhaps. Right. Uh, Abraham. Let's get another word out there. Hmm. Baptism. Oh, John. <laughs> Ding, 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 I was ding, trying ding, to ding. say oh, baptism. It's, 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 it's locusts, New Testament honey. locust, not <laughs> Old right. Testament locust. I, exactly. We could have been more clear. Yes, they, I, locusts oh, appear yes, in both John Testaments. The Isn't that interesting? Well, well, done. well done, you well guys. Done. All right. Those are the famous men of the Bible that I had for you. But um, let's get back into fun, our fun, 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 fun. Fun <clears throat> just never ends here. Um, but men's ministry, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're talking about men's ministry. Um, in a few sentences, what exactly is men's ministry? here at Trinity in particular. All right. Well, um, mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll go first. Uh, the um, It's uh, basically want to create an opportunity or create space uh, for the men of the church uh, to uh, participate in the available programs, uh, the stuff that's going on, uh, to uh, to step up uh, as leaders uh, uh, in, the, in the church as the opportunities arise or as, uh, as needed, and then to, um, to be able to send out, to develop and send out uh, men to uh, volunteer and to serve, um, not just in the church, but in the community as a whole. So that's kind of the three uh, goals of the of the men's ministry program. I think that's that's great. And I'm going to ask a question that I think might be on some people's minds is why men's ministry and not people ministry? Why men specifically? That's a good question. Yeah. Does anyone want to take a stab at that first? Well, men, yeah, are, you know, men have have uh, certain gifts. Mm -hmm. um, that not necessarily everybody else in the community has, mm -hmm. like the other groups in the community. And not, I guess there's lots of ways to subdivide the community. <laughs> but the men have unique gifts, and some of those gifts can be uh, used um, or nurtured and used. And I think the men's ministry is one way to do that, uh, to capitalize on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a church, not just Trinity, but all churches, mm -hmm. uh, I think we need to be all things to all people. Uh, and that's that's part of uh, that's part of the development of healthy Christian community. Um, but then I think there's also time when uh, you need to uh, uh, get together with a particular subgroup mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and just kind of uh, deal and or focus on the the needs or the wants of uh, of that particular group. Uh, and uh, so in this case, uh, it's uh, it's the men uh, uh, open to uh, all men, regardless of. Uh, of uh, race, age, or creed. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't care what rock band you like, right? <laughs> um, and uh, the um, and uh, yeah, it's just to, to create a, that opportunity for 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 guys to get together and to uh, and to uh, get to know each other better and to learn from each other and, like I said, to uh, to volunteer and help out together. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, so if you're interested out there and maybe getting involved in men's ministry, what do you think some of the challenges or obstacles there are? Like, what are some of the obstacles that men may face before they take that next step in getting into the ministry? I think it's um, usually the common ones are uh, time. Yeah. Um, we're, we're all so busy mm -hmm. it, uh, with life, with yeah. uh, work and uh, 
home life and uh, so forth. So just finding the time. Yeah. Um, which I guess you know the men's uh, ministry is going to you know, try and address by having you know events on you know, different different times, different days of the week. So whether it's you know, a Monday night at beer and banter mm -hmm. or Saturday morning breakfast or, or you know, something midweek. Um, so that if you know the idea being hopefully one of those times works um, for for a particular person um, time and then probably just um, just kind of you know call it apprehension of especially if mm -hmm. you know you're new here and you know I don't know what it's all about what to expect and uh, just that sort of natural resistance to um, just trying something new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think those are probably the common ones and and maybe just um and also just not um think or just sort of assuming well it's what am i what am i going to get out of it what's how am i going to benefit um which uh uh so just not having that like assurance sort of that, that assurance that des you know, desire to go and then you know it's not until so that's why i think our sort of message is to um to men just hey uh just ch check us out. Check us Just out. Check come, come, come to event. Come Thanks. and see. Mm -hmm. And like I know for me personally, like once you, you know, you start building relationships, and um, which to me it's you know, relationships are what, what it's all about, mm -hmm. um, and especially uh, you know deep meaningful ones, which is what I think you know I certainly I've experienced here just by um, things I've gotten involved in, and there's just something really neat about um, just uh, you know opening yourself up and, and sharing, you know, uh, what's going on, challenges you're facing in your life and and learning from each other and sharing and um, just, you know, growing together, praying for each other. It's just, it's just really, really impactful. I mean, to build on what uh, JP said earlier, uh, I think an obstacle uh, for a lot of men is uh, fear and anxiety of the unknown. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, they just uh, they may not be involved themselves uh, in the church um, and their wives who do come, uh, you know, want them, want them to engage, want them to become involved. And they just uh, they just didn't know what that path forward was. And uh, with the announcement of the men's ministry last week and with me as uh, as uh, as the uh, leader, the coordinator of the, the men's ministry, uh, I have had uh, a couple of women after the service come up to me with hope in their eyes that there is there is now maybe uh, some way that they could get their husband to uh, to kind of make that first step mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. community right and uh, through uh, through an informal gathering of uh, of men uh, beer and banter or, or or you know other things that are coming up and uh, and it was just that was just nice to nice to see that the mm -hmm. that um, you know the the women who uh, are faithful attenders of the church and just would love to have uh, uh, their husbands uh, uh, come out and, and and become involved are now see a way forward for that. That's so, great. And yeah, that's... women's husbands or yeah. or partners or, or boyfriends, yep. or, right? Mm -hmm. so or, uh, father, sons. Like father, this, son. Um, yeah. A couple yeah. of months ago at Beer and Banter, uh, a new, like a young dad came and he brought his father along. So that was kind of neat having yeah. father, ah. father and son there. And, yep. That's a, a really yeah. good segue into my next question, which is about age. And um, I'm assuming that men's ministry is really open to anyone who is who is a man. So we're not talking about children or maybe even teenagers. But for all men, regardless of age, um, let's say, I don't know, think there's probably a parameter on it. Um, but what are the benefits to having intergenerational men interacting with each other? The word discipleship came up. Um, Martin, you had a story. Um, we just talked about father's son. So what is the benefit? It that you've seen with having men of different generations interacting together. Do you guys Everybody? have any? Well, we all have things different. Um, how do I say strengths that mm -hmm. we can bring, and some of those are, are to do with uh, your stage in life. Uh, older people uh, maybe have been through a lot more, mm -hmm. uh, have made a lot more mistakes. We can learn from those <laughs> mistakes, yep. and we can we can we can certainly uh, help the younger generation with them. But then, no, what do you mean? I thought we were the younger oh, generation. No, <laughs> sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> Speak for yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think just yeah. um, everyone has different life experiences and mm -hmm. the perspective that you bring. So, someone who's you know, twenty-five year, years old is going to have a totally different perspective on a particular issue or life experience, or or you know, maybe um, in, uh, a workplace issue they're they're navigating, um, and. Uh, 
than you know, someone who's twice her age, for example. So it's just it's just neat mm -hmm. how, mm -hmm. um, despite the age differences and experience differences, um, I guess what sort of unites us together is that we're all you know brothers in Christ, and we're all encour mm -hmm. want to encourage each yes. other and help each other, and uh, you know grow and learn together. And do you see that there's a difference then um, in men's ministry, say here at Trinity, versus just joining a community group or a sports team? So what are those differences that are key and in important to our church-based men's ministry? Yeah, well, uh, the camaraderie of, uh, of a sports team is is great. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Um, but I think the, uh, uh, the focus of uh, the men's ministry goes beyond uh, just having fun together, yeah. uh, which we do have, uh, you know, beer and banter and when we get together, uh, certainly. But, uh, but our, um, our focus goes beyond that to, um, uh, to learning about being um, uh, men of uh, faith and um, uh, and uh, and also uh, uh, service. So I mean, so as opposed to uh, you know, I mean, we, as opposed to just having fun, uh, we have goals beyond that, and that's uh, and that's to grow uh, uh, together uh, and learn more what it means to be um, uh, a faithful servant of Jesus um, at home, at work, and in the community. And then, uh, and then, uh, looking forward to um, opportunities that we could uh, uh, put out there for men to uh, start volunteering in the in the community, or maybe uh, as a as a group helping out, um, and just uh, you know mm -hmm. being more involved that way, or or giving uh, opportunities for uh, guys to engage uh, in that mm -hmm. way. Awesome. So, what exactly does Trinity have in store for the men this year? Do, are there any particular events that are already planned? I think you mentioned retreat. You've mentioned beer and banter. I breakfast. What are what are the events that we have coming up? Well, I can highlight first beer and banter and and the retreat and and uh, highlight these guys as well. I'm really happy to say that uh, kind of Martin is was helpful, really helpful last year in putting the retreat together. Has taken on. A greater leadership role of the retreat for this year, um, because I'm uh, uh, becoming the the uh, coordinator of the men's ministry overall. Mm -hmm. So Martin is, has uh, has agreed to uh, to kind of step up uh, with regards to the retreat, which is amazing. All right, and I'm then, just going. Sorry to interrupt. What is the retreat and where oh, where right, is okay. it? Like well, we I was going to so, get to that, but I just want to say JP just... has uh, agreed similarly around beer and banter to ah. take on uh, a coordinating role with that. So that's great. But the retreat is the big thing that's coming up. Uh, and that's April 5th, 6th, and 7th. There's still spots available. So if there are guys that uh, that are interested, I would encourage you to... But, uh, to but they're register. going fast. They're they are going <laughs> fast. They are going <laughs> fast. Yes. yes. And, um, and the... Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a great time. Uh, we get together from uh, Friday evening to uh, uh, to Sunday afternoon at a retreat center that's just about two hours north of, uh, of, uh, of us here mm -hmm. in Mississauga. And um, it's a good time of uh, fellowship, of learning, uh, uh, and uh, and the and then having fun uh, together. So there's a guest speaker this year. Last year it was Rob who did an amazing job. Uh, this year it's uh, is Rob and uh, and myself. So mm -hmm. hopefully I don't drag him down too much uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the guest speaker department. And uh, David uh, David Lee is our worship leader this year. David did a great job this morning as mm -hmm. always, uh, helping uh, helping us uh, grow closer to the Lord. And the uh, and we'll be doing that for us at the retreat. And uh, and then uh, we cook uh, we cook and and eat our meals together and clean up uh, all together and and uh, and then there's uh, also some fun activities like hikes or going to the uh, local cidery or you know that kind of thing on saturday afternoon and so it's a good combination of uh, fun and learning and and prayer prayer and worship and wow all that, kind of stuff. that sounds great and then jp do you want to mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about beer and banter so some people may not know what that is sure so uh beer and banter is uh gathering monthly gathering on the it's moved around it's the first or second I think it's the it's second the second, mm -hmm. second monday of of each month okay uh from kind of uh, september to june and uh just very informal just the opportunity for um for guys just to get together and uh share what's what's going on in your your life your week and uh common interests and it's it's neat so usually it's about anywhere between maybe eight to 15 yeah, somewhere yeah, in that 15 range, guys that come usually. out and uh that's yeah, just neat the conversations get going and um 
And uh, yeah, we talk about all sorts of stuff. Yeah, uh, it's a great uh, event to bring uh, uh, friends and neighbors and and people, uh, men who are not part of the the church, to get that first step mm -hmm. into uh, you know meeting some guys and stuff. So. And if you don't drink beer, can you still go? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, <laughs> there are people that don't drink beer. Yeah, yeah. so there's that's yeah, totally fine. Just guys that have you know tea, coffee, water, soft drink, whatever. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not about the beer. It's about the banter and <laughs> we, we tell people it's beverage of your choice uh, yeah. but right. beverage but of your banter choice and necessary. banter doesn't really roll off the tongue as well doesn't so, does it so no. we're not going to change the name yeah. no no but just I a think. neat way for just guys to hang out and just start building relationships and you know you run into you know sort of you just get to know people and uh and and uh, get connected with trinity and it's sort of a great outreach event too like in where it's held in kukellans like oh we've, yeah um developed a great relationship with them and and the staff there and uh there's other guys that are kind of doing the same thing guys whatever after work or mm -hmm. hockey teams they kind of you know see us and you're out in the community had, yeah which is uh which really kind of ties which, into that talk that important. kyle had right we're getting yeah. connected in with our community yeah, yeah. earlier today yeah, yeah. For all sure. right so while well, we still have a few more minutes here bill what else is in store okay well uh thanks for asking elizabeth it's uh, on my <laughs> list so i've got to get <laughs> well, to it, no, so and i read your up. list so i knew that was coming there's uh, there's <laughs> lots yeah there's Lots, Stay tuned. You'll have to have us back the, um, <laughs> for part two after after the retreat uh, and the uh, on, and on Good Friday, mm -hmm. uh, so the end of March, um, uh, the oh no, sorry, uh, before the retreat um, because the retreat is the weekend after Easter. That's so right, on we good, have an early Easter, yeah. Mm -hmm. So on Good Friday, uh, we are uh, starting up or uh, restarting for those guys who have been around a couple of decades. Uh, the uh, uh, men's breakfast. So we'll do a Good Friday men's breakfast, uh, and uh, so there's opportunities to uh, to come and help uh, to uh, to cook breakfast, to set up, to clean up, and then of course we'll we'll put, we'll put it out there for people to sign up for the actual uh, breakfast. And uh, so the format for that will be of course uh, breakfast, but then we'll also be uh, a facilitated discussion or a guest speaker that will come in and talk about a topic of uh, of faith or again some connecting our 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 experience uh, either um, you know. Uh, family or work uh, with our faith and how does it all interact and work out uh, and uh, and so uh, so the kickoff is on is on Good Friday but we will be doing them um, uh, we're still trying to figure out whether it's monthly or bi-monthly mm -hmm. um, but we'll be doing them on Saturday mornings the last Saturday of the month uh, okay. either every month or every second month uh, mm -hmm. going forward after that Great. And then uh, in the future, uh, we're looking at a, a dads and kids event. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, recruiting some uh, younger dads and their kids uh, to um, uh, to uh, just go out on, on fun activities, uh, uh, going for a hike or biking or, uh, you know, going to... Uh, um, you know, sugaring off event or, um, you know, just all sorts of different things. So just, uh, 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 same idea though, just creating that space for, uh, for the, the young dads to get together and have a social time, uh, not just with each other, but with their uh, kids interacting with each mm -hmm. other as well. And encourage one another, I suppose, in that shared mm -hmm. experience. Yes, of course. Yes. That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And so a lot to look forward to. So if you're interested in joining the men's ministry, and I'm going to talk to the camera here now, but if you're interested in finding out more about the events or participating or helping out in any way, you can contact or get in touch with Bill directly or contact the church, info at trinitystreetsville.org, and the church will get you in touch with Bill or one of the guys on the team, and they will let you know everything you need to know and get you connected in ways that you want to connect. Um, so I just want to say thank you for joining me. Well, thank You're you welcome. for having us. This is a Thanks. lot yeah, of fun. Welcome. We will have to have you back again. Maybe find out how the breakfasts go. Or <laughs> for sure, yeah. Sure. I know. Yeah. I just have to say, last time I remember there was a breakfast, there was a smoke alarm went off. So I think we just need to uh, make sure that we don't uh, yes. set any toaster. Yes. Yes. My yeah. I, toaster this year. I was I was there, yeah. and uh, and there's a there's one guy who tells a story saying that. Uh, it was uh, the fire went off at the men's breakfast, and uh, and a whole bunch of firefighters showed up, and uh, and I and I think the he his comment this is not mine, but his mm -hmm. comment was that it was a missed opportunity. It really should have been a women's breakfast to properly appreciate all the all these <laughs> handsome firefighters that were coming in through missed the building. Missed opportunity. Oh, yes. I have no comment.